Hi, and welcome to a Punk with Toys. My name is Lawrence, and today we're going to take a look at this fresh monkey fiction, Eagle Force vs. Riot, the Riot Commando. I've never had one of these. This is a 4-inch, 1-18th scale figure. Uh, I have been interested, but at Joe Fest, it was finally like, hey, you know what? It came with so much money that I was going to spend, or willing to spend. This was something that's been on my list to pick one up and do a review, see how they fit as a modern uh, modern figure now whether or not this is a brand new figure i i don't know but i'm assuming their articulation is going to be pretty close if i'm wrong please in the comments let me know that hey you know what there's newer figures that have better articulation but we're going to take a look at this you know about fresh monkey fiction i've been waiting for the monster force and they're doing other lines in the six inch form but hey this is the four inch i still do collect it contrary to what a lot of people have tried to say before but I did get, I did grab this one because he is blue, so I do believe he will fit with the Cobra Troopers. If you remember Eagle Force, Eagle Force was the little gold figures that were, I think, two and a half inches when we were kids. They were all metal. They, they were weapons. That's really what they were. If someone ever broke into your house, you would grab your Eagle Force figures and your WWF wrestling figures. Those things were weapons as kids. Uh, I guarantee you there are a lot of black eyes due to those couple of <laughs> lines of figures. So anyway, here we go. It does look good. It has a slip cover, so we're going to be able to just slide it out, not destroy it. Artwork looks really good on it. And on the back, we have the cross cell. Uh, it gives you a little description of what the, figure it, what the figure is. And I'll tell you what, you can pause it there and read it. At least I'm pretty sure that's what it tells you. Um... So it actually tells you everything. I'm not into the lore because I'm going to use it with my G.I. Joe stuff. So if you want to, you can check it out. Again, these are available on BBTS. That's the only place you can get them uh, because they are, at least from what I understand. Oh, well, I think they're back. I'm going to go back. You can get these Eagle Force figures in independent toy shops because I know that the store Nerd Out here in Oak Park, Michigan, they do carry them. So anyway. Enough of me rambling on. Let's just get to this. But before we do, if you like this type of content, if you like when I give you stuff like this, take a second, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you're notified when I drop something that might be on your radar, but you're just not sure if you want to pull the trigger. Now let's take a look at this. Okay, so customary to any time I get a new figure that I don't know how it, it is in the packaging. I like to open it up on, you know, on video. So this is a slip cover. You can open it from the top of the bottom. So all you're going to do is you're going to slide this thing off. And we've seen some of the Motu stuff that's done like this. So maybe you just want to keep this. I love this idea. I think any any figure that is going into um, a Sergeant Reds, a Nerd Out, your local toy store, this is how it should be. Or if it's only going to like BBTS, Entertainment or something like that. All right. So here's everything that he comes with. This thing just looks like it slides right out and figure pops out. So easy enough. As you can see, I have part of the uh, mass device behind me, the weather dominator. If anyone has the rest of the pieces, please let me know. I will be looking for it so I can uh, put this thing together. <laughs> um, and I actually do have the figures over here. So, All right. So what does this guy come with? Well, let's take a look at everything that he does have. So, looks like we have a nice head. And again, it looks perfect to be a Cobra operative. And on such a small head sculpt, that paint looks really, really good. Uh, black right down the middle of the balaclava. It is all blue, very close to being the Cobra, uh, Cobra look. Cobra colors. Eyebrows. Everything looks really good there. We have this Eagle for stand. Now, you guys know I don't really care for stands, but once again, I will say when it comes to 118 scale, I have no issues with people using them because I have to use them too because, let's be honest, figures this size do have a hard time standing. All right. It comes with a secondary pair of goggles. Paint looks good. It's just, you know, red on the lenses. How well does it fit? Well, we can try that really quick here. 
and just kind of throw it on there and oops went just a little too far a little different when you're dealing with something this size compared to the one tall scale figures but that actually fits perfect it's snug but not too tight to get on and that really gives you those um well actually kind of funny this is snake eyes vibe um I did not do that on purpose, but it's just kind of coincidence that I have that sitting right there. Uh, he has the, yeah, beret, which I don't know why I completely um, skipped my mind there. All black except for, it says, I'm doing my best to look at that. The hell did that say? Man, that is Riot. All right, makes sense. So, it says Riot on the beret. Comes with multiple hands, which I'm not used to this scale of figures coming with hands. So, you have an open hand. You have a fist hand and a C-cup hand. And I'm going to guess what I actually have here is the opposite. So... And then on him, you have your trigger fingers. He comes with a nice little pistol. Has some neat designs, not bad. Again, uh, for the scale that we're doing, and that is mold injection, I think that's uh, pretty close to about the best that you're going to get for this price, which I do believe is $28. And then we have his uh, rifle. Which I love this type of grip here just because it's easier to really pose a figure of this size. No removable magazine, so no so no use even looking at that. But you do have a nice little stock. Got rid of the trigger guard, or is the trigger guard well, I can't be broken because it's brand new. No trigger guard, which I'm fine with. I can only imagine how difficult this will be. Uh, you know, you have a rail system, no port for blast effect, which I don't think you're gonna be able to get anyway even if they had it. So, let's take a look at this figure and see how he uh, compares. So, he has this very futuristic type looking mask on. Now, maybe I'm wrong. If you're in the military and well, you're not and you know better, hey, just let me know. So, it looks like they just kind of clamp on. And, again, whether or not they're supposed to be like built into the mask or they clip onto it. To me, they look like they clip on red. Got some silver accents there. Gas mask is all set like that. You have your plate carrier, which almost looks like um, very similar to what the, uh, the, the, the ferret driver has. Um, but again, just two paint apps on it, all black. And then we have this paint over it. I have no issues with that. There you have Riot on the side with their logo. Back piece is also protected. You have your knee pads which have just a little, little silver studs there which I will admit they go really far. Thigh holder, thigh holster. Alright. Two little uh, silver clasps on it. Pistol will hopefully stay nice and easy. Boots look good, and you can tell there's wrinkles throughout the figure. All right, so let's look at the articulation. So his head does look down. Doesn't really look up. Can turn side to side. Nice, easy T-pose. The elbows get uh, just over 90 degrees. So that's not bad at all. Didn't have to heat the figure up at all. There's no, no bicep swivel, but this all happens at the elbow joint, so nothing to worry about there. You have your trigger fingers and your wrists, and they're going to move up and down. And we'll take them off shortly. He has the Jean-Claude Van Damme. Let's see if his waist... So he does turn side to side, and... It looks like right here, if we want, we can pop the vest off. 
Oh, actually on both sides. So then the vest will just come right off. We'll take the vest off in a second. Holster is already settled on it. That double knee joints and does have a thigh cut. So a lot of the same modern articulation boot cut as a 112 scale figure. And then your ankle rocker. So all in all, looks pretty good. The only thing that he seems to not have is, does he have an ab crunch? No, oh, there's no ab crunch. So compared to the, uh, the 112 scale figures, no ab crunch and no, du no double elbows. He can really look so far down. No butterfly joints, but again, most of them don't work, so it doesn't even matter. No drop down hips. Again, not a big deal. So let's pop this head off here. And it just comes off nice and easy. Then your vest can come off. So now you have a plain trooper. All right, looks a lot like a Valiverse uh, build a figure. As a matter of fact, that is almost exactly what he looks like, just in a much smaller scale. So how hard is it to get the head? Do we need to heat it up? I'm scared to break off that tiny little peg right there. That's what she said. All right. All right. So you need to use some pressure. Uh, not a bad idea if you uh, decide that you want to heat it up and then pop it on there. All right. As for the wrists, came off extremely easy. And uh, let's get an open hand here. And those just plug on nice and easy. So maybe you want them grabbing someone by the throat. Pretty cool. We'll have them grab snake eyes. Probably not the greatest idea for some Cobra Trooper to try and grab snake eyes. But... You can work it around, work it in to make it happen. And you know, when you look at the height here, it looks like these figures, these come from, again, I mentioned it, the mass device. They look like they're maybe a little bit shorter. If I can get them to stand properly. Again, sometimes you're trying to look at the camera. And really, you need to be looking over the camera. Actually, they're almost the exact same height. Snake Eyes is a little bit shorter, so again, on par with the other modern uh, figures. So, let's throw this vest back on him. I kind of want him armed up a little bit, although kind of like this uh, this had a little bit more than the uh, this one that came with it now the vest here this plate carrier does seem a little loose and how was well it gonna snap back in there's a whole nother story so There you go with that. Not bad. So we got the pistol. Let's put the uh, stress trigger finger back on because he's going to be a righty. You have your pistol. How well does this fit in here? And you're taking a quick look at it. I have no issues. It actually fits pretty damn well. All right. Now. I will mention it again. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. Uh, you're not going to get the same type of stance and stuff. Especially not using a stand when it comes to a smaller figure like this. Though I was able to get them stand that easily. Let's throw this on him. I'm going to have him holding the grip, the foregrip. If I can find it. And honestly, I don't really mind having trigger fingers. Oops, I guess I should put the 
Um, <laughs> the trigger finger back on him so that he can hold this. All right. And easily we kind of get that up. Foregrip. And I gotta say, <laughs> his boot cut really, really moves an awful, awful lot when you're trying to pose him. But wasn't that difficult. And if you're on some sturdy ground, I don't think you're gonna have too much of an issue. Even here, as I'm bouncing on the table, took a little bit for him to fall off. How does the um, Bray fit, you ask? Well, actually, it fits on nice and snug, no issues. Pistol. The pistol feels a little loose, so be careful if you're going to be walking around like that. I can easily see that falling out and you losing it. We'll take his little stand, throw them up on there, and they seem to have no issues, which they really shouldn't, considering this is a soft plastic. Oh, look at that. I like that. Two different, two different spots. Now, I know someone's probably watching this going, yeah, we already know this. Oh, I get it. So, the front one is a bigger port. I'm assuming for the original 118 scale, or maybe maybe for the the 112. Here's the 112 GI Joe. So you can use these stands. Of course, they sit they sit up pretty high. I'm wondering if you can use a regular old GI Joe stand. Let's grab our Skink Man. The original GI Joe uh, slash Star Wars size, and nope. So that is too big. So it is made. So you can you can use these with one twelve scale, which is another size that they're using, which is for this, or your modern one eighteen scale. So. I'll throw it up here. Try not to knock the gun off here. <laughs> now, this is riveting to watch, isn't it? You know, are you holding your breath on it? This one actually feels like nope. I I guess I need to use not the best way to do this. That is for sure. But we can use it here. It will kind of hold it on there. Um, didn't do the best job with that. <laughs> so, I feel like things have kind of got mixed in here. But I do like having the way the goggles looked. It really does give you that snake eyes vibe. And I do like, uh, as much as you don't like something like this, it is something definitely different. This could easily be your. Cobra, um, Cobra Officer, Cobra Riot, obviously. So, I'm going to just throw this on here. And then you get a nice little pose. So, there you go. That is your Eagle Force Riot Trooper, Riot Commando. Just makes sense calling him from Commando. He looks a lot like Snake Eyes. All right, so my first reaction to this Fresh Monkey Fiction Eagle Force 118 scale figure is it's pretty cool. It's really, really good. Uh, boy, man, this is a row that I could easily go down. I had a lot of fun posing it. You can see I didn't have an issue posing it at all on that Lazy Susan, which has felt. I didn't have to use uh, the... The stands, which I do hate, it just takes away from the aesthetics, especially if you're setting up uh, actual like action displays. But yeah, these things are really cool. Only two weapons, and I'm perfectly fine with that because again, I have a lot of 118 scale weapons. 
just like I have one 12 scale weapons. But these things are fun for sure. If you're on the fence, I'd say you don't really need to be. You can go out, pick one up, and you're going to have an absolute blast with this. Um, how they how they shoot, how they photograph, that's a whole other story. We'll find that out shortly. All right, so there you have it. That is my first Eagle Force 118 scale figure from Fresh Monkey Fiction. And I have to say, this figure is actually pretty badass. Um, it looks like it's Cobra, so it could easily fit in with your G.I. Joe if that's what you're into. Or you could just go Eagle Force and make your own 118 scale, which I'm sure a lot of people do. It looks awesome. It feels really good. A lot of articulation. You could see it stood really easily. And that Lazy Susan that I have right there, it's felt, which makes it hard for a lot of figures to stand on, especially, I mean, not especially, even the 118 scale figure. So anyway, if you're on the fence about this, if you're wondering, hey, do they seem pretty good? I'm going to say they do. I've, I've only really heard good things about them, but I figured let's give it a shot. Now I'm scared that it might go down a road that I don't need to go down, but... You know how that goes with me. But I'm going to get out of here. Please, social medias, if you're on it, Instagram, a punk with toys, the Facebook group page, punks with toys, because what? Once you join, you're a punk with toys. And I'm going to leave you guys here. Before I do, please take a second, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a G.I. Joe video. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to link this to the Delta Force 17 the Delta Force, the Delta 17 figures that I just recently did. And down here will be the playlist of all the 118 scale stuff that I've done. Take care.